Hey friend, John McLennan here, and in this video you're gonna learn how to play Gentle On My Mind as recorded by Glenn Campbell on guitar. Now this is a beautiful song and just an awesome tune to play, especially on acoustic guitar. I'm gonna show you how to play it using a capo on the third fret and show you just a main acoustic guitar part that'll go through the entire song. And this is gonna be great to sing along to or just to play along with the recording. And I've taken different elements of different instruments throughout the song and tried to incorporate as much of it into one main acoustic guitar part to show you today. Before we dive into it, I wanna hook you up with a gift right away for spending some time with me here on my channel. At the first link down below, you can download my free soloing guidebook. And with this book, you'll get over 100 licks and exercises that come with audio downloads and are gonna show you some great tips for learning to improvise and play some solos on guitar. So check that out as my gift to you you, you can just go to johnmcclennan.com slash free book or use the link down below. All right, well, with that said, let's dive into this lesson. Let's break down how to play Gentle On My Mind as recorded by Glenn Campbell on guitar. Now we're gonna start off with a little intro and before we do, you wanna make sure that you've got your capo on the third fret. And I'm gonna go through just a main acoustic guitar part using the capo here on fret three. Now don't worry, if you don't have a capo, you can still play what I'm playing. It's just gonna sound a little lower. You won't be able to play along with the recording but you can still practice the shapes and then if you get a capo later, you just put it on fret three and you're good to go. So we're gonna start with just a C chord here and here's what we're gonna play. One, two, three, four. Now I'm playing from the fifth string down, just a typical C chord here. Three, two, open, one, open. And what you wanna do is start by just hitting that bass note on the fifth string. And then we'll strum the rest of the string. So this is gonna be our sort of general strumming pattern. It's gonna go. So I'm hitting that bass note, then I'm doing a strum. And those are eighth notes, one and, and then we'll go to E and a. Uh. So we'll play 16th notes on beat two. We won't play right on the downbeat of two, but we'll come back up to E and a. Uh. So it's gonna go bass, down, up, down, up. Or one E and a, uh, two E and a. Uh. Now it's pretty quick. It's like one E and a, two E and a, three E and a, four E and a. Now, if that's too hard to just hit that bass note, you can always just make it a strum and go. And that'll work as well. Now, one other thing that I was doing, because there's a lot of like layered guitars, there's a banjo in there on the recording, and it really just gets a beautiful sound with all those parts combined. But what I do is I go. I just do a little hammer on there. So I start that C chord, but I lift off my middle finger. And then I hammer it down after I do, I do the bass note, then on the strum, I start with it off and then it goes down. So on the and a one, one and. Okay, that's our intro, just four bars of that C chord. Now, we're gonna keep that strumming pattern going through the whole song. And we've got some more complicated chords here. We're gonna go. So that's just the basic chord shapes. And again, this is right where Glenn comes in singing. Okay, so we've got a C chord for two beats. Then we're gonna lift off our index finger and make it a C major seven. 
And this is a very common kind of jazz sound. It goes C, C major 7 to a C6, then back to a C major 7. So it's really holding this C shape, but then just changing one note in it. It's, it's such a beautiful sound. So what I'm doing is I'm doing all that with my index finger, and I'll show you two ways. The easiest way is just what I'm starting with here. Now when I play that C6, I'm adding my index finger to the second fret of the third string. And then I'm gonna try and only strum those strings, so I wanna bring out that sixth note, that note that we just added. Uh, it's the sixth of the chord. And then back to the major seven. So it's a pretty detailed strumming pattern there. It's like strumming and bringing out a melody. Okay, the other way that you could do it is you could go. So that's a little cheat there where I use my middle finger to get both those notes and I play the C6 like this. That's an advanced way. But notice how I can do all that without leaving my C position. So we're gonna go C, C major seven, C six, C major seven, then D minor for two bars. And that's from the fourth string down, open, two, three, one. Then we start this minor cliche chord progression. Again, just like on the previous chord, we're gonna hold a D minor but then move a note in it. So D minor, then D minor major seven, open two, two, one, then D minor seven, open two, one, one, then G seven. That's just a typical folk G seven, three, two, open, 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 one, then back to C. So that's gonna go. Such a great chord progression. Okay, so the first eight bars, starting right where Glenn comes in with the vocal. Okay, that's our first eight bars, and you can think of that as like one chunk. Now the second part of this is a 10 bar phrase, and it's very similar. Here's what it sounds like. Okay, so we start the same way, C to C major seven, C six, C major seven. Then we do the first bar of that again, C to C major seven. So that's. Then we do all familiar material here, D minor for two bars. Then do the cliche chord progression again. D minor, D minor major seven, D minor seven, G seven. Now this time, instead of going to C like we did, we're gonna repeat D minor seven to G seven again, then we'll go to C. So again, there's not really new material here, it's just the same stuff presented slightly differently. So coming off that minor cliche, Then again, D minor seven. It keeps you ever gentle on my mind. Then we're back to C. Now this time, instead of just staying on C, we're gonna use a C sus four chord. We're gonna go. So that's a C chord, but I'm adding my pinky, and then it comes off, and then I add it down again. So this whole 10 bar section, the separate part sounds like this. One, two, three, four. Keeps you ever gentle on my mind. 
Okay, then we go back to the verse. The first part, do everything again. So that's the entire song. Now, there is one change that happens in the very last verse. So this second part that we just learned, what we do is we play everything exactly the same, but we cut the third bar of that. So we go C, C major seven, C six, C major seven. Then we just go straight to the D minor, which is just like what we play for the first part of the verse. So let's put it all together now. We're gonna start with the four bar intro. We'll go into the verse, then we'll play this final section. When we're done, we'll just end on a C chord so you can hear what everything sounds like together. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Next part. Walk it down. Keeps you ever gentle on my mind. And on C. Congrats on making it through this gentle on my mind guitar lesson. Be sure to take it slow and work on some of those chord shapes if they're new. Give your hand some time to get used to the muscle memory of learning to switch to some of those changes. And just know that it takes time, but you got this, you're on your way. And to help you even more, make sure to download my free soloing book at the first link down below. And this is gonna give you over 100 licks and exercises that come with audio downloads of each example, and it's all completely for free. Just go to johnmcclennan.com slash free book or use the link down below. Before you go, make sure to let me know in the comments below what your number one song is that you would like to see me teach here next on the channel. Thanks for your support with the videos and we'll see you in another one real soon. Thank you.